Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do an uh, oil change on your Mercedes. I mean, this applies to all Mercedes, but uh, mostly uh, the ML and GL series. Of course, you're going to want to extract your oil, whether it's through the on top or on the bottom. You can do it through your dipstick, like I'm doing right here. It's a lot easier and cleaner. I have a video, which I'll put in the link, show you guys how to do that. Or just do the traditional underneath and go through your oil pan. And here are the equipment you'll need. Of course, your OW40 European Car Formula Mobile One and your HU7 series of man filters. And this is all recommended from Mercedes. There's a list in uh, your owner's manual. So here's your cap. Of course, you want to remove your cap. And here's your oil filter. And uh, the trick is just to loosen it up and let the oil drain so you have less of a mess when uh, it's all said and done so I just kind of unscrew it slowly let it drip let the oil pump out and this is what's included some o-rings and uh, your of course your oil filter and this is all recommended it'd be changed every 10,000 miles or whenever your service says so as I let the oil drain from the dipstick and as well through this I'll just slowly uh, manipulate it and just let it drain. So as oil is draining, I'm just going to get a towel right here to cover the area. Just make sure no extra drips, drips on the concrete or the engine bay. Alright, here's the old oil filter. As you can see, there's not much dripping of oil at all. It's all drained. And just put it in here and give it a couple twists to remove the oil filter itself. And there's three little O-rings you can replace. Two of the smaller ones are at the end and the big one right there near the handle. So one big one, two, and then three. And uh, I recommend changing it every, either every other oil change or just changing it every oil change. It does come with it, so might as well. So I'll just get some little needle nose pliers and pull these off doesn't really matter if you damage them since uh, you're going to replace them anyways. And do the same with the other two. You're going to pull this old, old filter out. And then put your new one on and then screw it back in. And that's pretty much it. And of course uh, use your recommended oil from your uh, service manual. There's only a list of uh, several oil makes and models of it. So one of them is the Mobile One European Formula. OW40, which I'll be using. And of course, put your old filter on, and bam, you are done. Make sure uh, you warm up your engine and uh, check your engine oil level again. Of course, you want to do the service uh, oil reset in your dashboard, and I have a video for that as well. And that's pretty much it. Hopefully, you enjoy the video. Ask any questions. Thanks.